Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got up to 10 Pokemon that you're gonna be able to hunt super easy in your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet from one location. We're gonna cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So yesterday, we are showcasing another location where you're going to be able to hunt multiple different Pokemon in their shiny form super easy. As always, got to give a big shout out to Sukuro Gamings who actually discovered this location, which we can showcase today, which hopefully you can take into your own games and have a lot of success shiny hunting with. So in game, you are going to want to come onto your map and you're going to want to head right up north into this area which is right next to the ground blight shrine and you're going to want to come to this area so if you've got the shrine unlocked then you can just head straight here and then follow my directions to where we're going to be going where this whole method kind of centers around so once you're here you want to just head up to this area up onto the top of this cliff here and it's not right on top of here, but you'll see a little ledge to the side of you, to the left. And that is the ledge that you're going to want to hop up on. And this is where we're going to base ourselves for this whole method. So this area here, you can see this is the view. You've got a good view of the terrain, the top of the cliff in front of you. And you're going to be able to set up your picnic here as well. That's a big thing. So you're going to be able to set your picnic up and down. Uh, which is obviously one of the big things that we're going to need to do throughout this method. So here we are, and I'll just bring it up on the map once again so you know exactly where we are in regards to everything. And like I said at the start of the video, this location you can hunt up to 10 different shiny Pokemon super easy. So the first Pokemon that we are going to cover today is going to be Toad School and Toad Scroll. And before we start any shiny hunt, of course, make sure that you save your game, have auto saves off because if you are creating a sandwich and you are using Herba Mystica, you don't want to waste those if you're not successful in your first hunt. You're going to want to come into your picnic and set up a sandwich. As always, I will put an overlay on the screen now giving you some examples of how you can get the ingredients to give you that encounter power level three and the sparkling power level three for each individual type that we'll be looking for in these games. And the sandwich recipe list will be listed in the description as well. So just grab it and use it because it is quite useful for mixing and matching a bunch of the Herba Mystica if you've got different varieties. For this one, we can use two sweet Herba Mysticas and this should give us the exact sparkling power and encounter power that we need. As you can see, we've got that sparkling and encounter power level three for ground types. We've got the added bonus of the title power as well. But these are the sandwich powers that you're going to need for this first example. And like I said, the ingredients recipe list will be in the description if you want to refer to that. And of course, once you have done the sandwich, the first thing you're going to want to note is that you've got 30 minutes in total to take advantage of the sandwich powers. And where we are located, you are going to just want to view the Toad School and Toad School that come in in this location. There's going to be about three families in total that will come in, so about 15 in total. Sometimes it does take a little while for the third family to come in, but if you don't want to wait for it, then you can just set up your picnic once again, and it is just setting it up, despawning everything on the field that's currently there that isn't a shiny and then you want to just take your picnic down once again and then the spawns should just pop back in onto the field and as you can see there there's three families there and this is what you will repeat over and over again until the shiny does spawn in and it's a super easy shiny to go for for this one very little effort involved and you are going to be looking out for a white toad school that is the shiny form i'll put them on the screen now for you and then the toad scroll is going to be a very vibrant pink purple color uh, very easy to spot so this one isn't going to be too hard you're not going to have to concentrate too much on it and like i say you're going to just repeat this method of setting your picnic up despawning anything that's not a shiny and then taking your picnic down for the Pokemon to spawn back in and hopefully the shiny won't take too long for you to get. And of course, if you don't get the shiny, if you're unlucky on the first 30 minutes with your sparkling powers, then you can just reset your game and use the same sandwich recipe once again. Repeat the process for another 30 minutes so you're not wasting resources. Hence the reason why it's very important before you start any of these shiny hunts to just save your game just in case you are a little bit unlucky with not getting the shiny the first time through when you set your sandwich powers up. 
And after a little while, here we go, we eventually get the shiny toad school. So we get the pre-evolution here, but just make sure when you do get the shiny to save your game first of all. So in case you have any mishaps and the shiny gets away, then at least you can say reset your game and come back into it and you're gonna be able to get the shiny no problem at all. Also having a false swipe user in your party is advisable just to get it down to one HP and then it gives you a better chance to use some of these more special Pokeballs to catch the shinies in. And when you've caught that Toad Scroll, if you want to evolve it into Toad Scroll, the evolution, then all you need to do is use one rare candy and then this should be enough because it evolves at level 30 to get this pink shiny which is one of the nicest shinies I think in the newest games. So the next shiny that we're going to go for is Sudowoodo. It is a rock type. You want to set up your sparkling and encounter power for rock type Pokemon. And if you can set your picnic up and get these powers set up in the rain, this is going to be the easiest shiny hunt for you because the Sudowoodo in the rain will despawn themselves. As you can see here, as long as it's raining, they will run out of the field of focus and more will spawn in, giving you better chances of the shiny coming in very quickly, meaning that you don't need to sit your picnic up and down. Of course, rain is pretty random as a weather, so it's just dependent if you can get the rain set up in this area. And once you do, it shouldn't be too long for you to get the shiny Sudowoodo in your game. Next one is going to be a, an electric sparkling and encounter power and you're going to get Raichu spawns in this location with the sandwich powers active and again it's just going to be a case of just setting your picnic up and down here until the shiny does spawn in. The nice thing about Raichu is there are lots of spawns coming in every time you set up and take down your picnic. Next one is going to be for fighting type and bug type Heracross so fighting type sandwich powers for Heracross for the sparkling power and again a little bit like Raichu you're going to get lots of spawns in for this Pokemon. Next one is going to be for Bramblegast the ghost type sandwich powers for encounter and sparkling power are advisable here again just setting up and taking down your picnic to spawn in new Pokemon until the shiny does spawn in. Next one is a sparkling and encounter power for normal type and that's going to be dealing and it's evolution that you're going to get spawning in in these locations. Again a little bit like the Toad School and Toad Scroll, going to be in families of three and normally about 15 at a time. So you just want to set up your picnic and then take it down again to respawn the Pokemon in this area and you can use your camera and then zoom function if you'd like to in game to get a closer look at the flower which would be the big indicator for the dealing in particular being a shiny. Next one is going to be Poison Type Sandwich for Encounter Power and Sparkling Power for Fungus and Moongus in this area. So once you do set up it just like every other example in this video, you're going to just get these families of three coming in about 15 at a time and again you probably want to use your zoom function on this one as well just to be able to kind of spot the fungus as they are rather small but purple is the color that you're looking for not the regular red next one is dark type sandwich with a sparkling power and encounter power for mass chief and mabo stiff and they are going to appear again in family groups so you'll get the evolution and the pre-evolutions here again you can use the zoom function not really necessary but shinies for these ones easy to spot and you want to just repeat the process over and until you get the shiny appearing Now the next one you're going to have to wait until it is night time. Set up a flying encounter and sparkling power level 3 for this Pokemon and that's this is going to be Murkrow and Honchkrow and very easy shinies to spot. Bright pink compared to their regular kind of dark blue colors. So easy to spot like I say. You might want to use the camera function if you want. Not really necessary though but it has to be at night time when you set your sandwich powers up for these Pokemon to spawn in. Just make sure it's night time in the game. If it's not then you can just close your game down put your clock forward 30 minutes and then set your sign
Next one is gonna be a steel encounter and sparkling power. And this is gonna get you forest stress, the bug and steel type Pokemon. Again, a very easy shiny to spot here. It is gonna be a gold color rather than the kind of steel and red color that it is in its regular form. Again, just take down your picnic, set it up again. You're gonna get a bunch of these spawning in at a time. So it should be quite an easy shiny for you to get. And as you can see, when it does come in, make sure you save your game when you do get the shiny because this Pokemon can explode like I'm going to show you an example here of uh, forest stress when you're trying to catch it one of its moves is explosion so if you don't save before coming in and encountering forest stress and it does explode on you then you've lost the shiny and you don't really want that to happen so more important than any of the other ones make sure you do save before you go in and get the shiny because then you can just reset your game come back into it and encounter it again and give yourself another shot at getting this shiny and not losing it but a really nice shiny though nonetheless and uh, this generation 2 pokemon kind of forgotten about but also a nice one to go after and hunt of course And that is every single shiny that we're going to cover in this location. If you have tried this location for yourself and you've got other Pokemon by setting up other different types of sandwich, please let me know down in the comment section below. But a great location where you're going to be able to get a lot of shiny Pokemon really easy just in this one location. I hope you found today's guide useful. Good luck shiny hunting if you have found it useful please drop a like on the video it does massively help and if you're new to the channel make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss any more shiny hunting videos that we do as well as the other scarlet and violet coverage that we constantly put out on the channel thank you for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye